Most recently we talked about their child archetype, how they are innocent and need saving. And something more common than that is this archetype, although to look at Professor McGonagall there you might think that I'm going to talk about witches, but in actual fact it's not witches that I'm interested in, it is mothers. Now it is true that these archetypes don't actually allow a great deal of range and depth to women. Um, they can be the love interest, uh, they can and they can be mothers and also they can be witches but we'll come to the witches shortly but the mother archetype is actually pretty rigid you often don't see this you don't often see this blended with other things so let's look at what goes into being a, a mother in a story you need to be nurturing you need to be looking after people for their best interests even if you're sometimes a little bit stern you need to be caring you need to be selfless. You know, these mothers, and we see it again and again in stories, will literally lay down their lives to protect their children or the people they're nurturing. And lastly, they get to be beautiful but rarely sexual. You might have a hint that they have some kind of sexual allure for somebody, but their primary purpose is not, in fact, to be sexual at all. So that's the mother, um, I was going to say stereotype, and really it is both a stereotype and an archetype. And, um, and we'll be back shortly to talk about the witch.